So, you have a movie for me. Yes, sir, I do. So, there's this guy named John Hammond, and him and his team developed a way to create clones using DNA. Wow, so he could use that to save endangered species, or make human organs and save a ton of lives? Yeah, I guess he could, but instead he's gonna make... You know, a bunch of dinosaurs. What? Yeah, just a whole bunch of big old toothy dinosaurs. An interesting set of priorities, I guess. So why does he want to make dinosaurs? Well, he wants to open an amusement park called Jurassic Park. Oh, and what kind of dinosaurs are in Jurassic Park? Mostly ones from the Cretaceous period. So why don't they call it Cretaceous Park? Because that sounds stupid and I hate it. Fair enough. So anyway, they managed to clone dinosaurs using blood found in mosquitoes preserved in amber. That sounds very sciency. I love it. Yeah, and they also brought back plants that have been extinct for millions of years. How'd they do the plant? plant stuff if the dinosaur stuff was based on blood. Plant blood? I don't know. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. Whoops. Whoopsie. So anyway, when they're setting up the park, one of the employees gets killed by dinosaurs. Whoops. Whoopsie. So Hammond's gonna realize that he's playing God and human lives are at risk? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, no, he doesn't care about any of that, but he does need to fly in some specialists now to give the park the green light because investors are getting nervous. This guy doesn't have much of a soul, does he? Nope, and so he flies in a paleontologist named Alan Grant, a paleobot botanist named Ellie Sattler, and a chaotician named Ian Malcolm. Well, I guess those would be the best people to make sure a dinosaur theme park's safe. He also brings his little grandchildren Lex and Tim along for the ride. He brings children to an untested dinosaur theme park where an employee was just killed? He does. Wow. There's also a lawyer there? Oh, lawyers are the worst. Oh, well, you'll be happy to know that he gets viciously killed by a T-Rex while sitting on a toilet. Oh, uh, maybe a little harsh. Maybe. So what else happens in the movie? Well, John Hammond's gonna show them the entertaining little intro to the tour where he interacts with a video of himself. What kind of an idiot makes a video talking to himself and tries to pass that off as entertainment? Well, it's just a fun little thing he wants to do before the tours start. So he's planning on being physically present at the start of every tour at Jurassic Park? Yeah, I guess he is. Pretty big time commitment. Oh yeah, plus he says he wants to be present for the birth of every single dinosaur so they can imprint on him. So his schedule is just gonna be running from tours to dinosaur births to tours to dinosaur births. Seems like that's the life he's setting up for himself, yeah. Huh. Anyway, there's also a guy named Nedry who works at the park, and he wants to sell dino DNA to competitors. Uh-oh. Yeah, but as he's escaping, he slides off the road and comes across a dangerous dinosaur. Uh-oh, again, but he must know exactly how dangerous it is, right? You'd think so, because he's been working at the park for months and months, but he tries to make small talk with the dangerous dinosaur and play fetch with it. What? Yeah, so then he dies. Right, I imagine he would. Also, a bunch of the characters are gonna be on a tour, and the power's gonna go out, and a T-Rex is gonna break out of its cage. Well, that's not good. It's not, but Alan explains that the T-Rex's vision is based on movement, so if they don't move, it can't see them. Is that a real thing, or did you make that up for the movie? It's mostly made up. I think some lizards might have movement-based vision, though. Oh, lizards kinda look like dinosaurs, I'm sold. Great. So what else happens? Well, the kids don't know about the movement-based vision thing, so they have a little dance party with the flashlight. Seems like something you'd want to avoid even if you didn't know that. Yeah, it seems that way. So anyway, the T-Rex is gonna break in the sunroof of their car, and they're gonna have to hold it up while the dinosaur presses down on them. Wouldn't the full force of a T-Rex kinda snap their arms or crush them or something? Something? They're strong kids, I guess. Sounds that way. So then Alan and the kids have to rappel down the side of the T-Rex enclosure, which is at least like a 50-foot drop. Wait, how did the T-Rex get out of the enclosure if there was a 50-foot drop? I don't know, maybe T-Rexes were fantastic vertical jumpers. Doesn't seem like they would be. Oh well. Oh well. And then they're gonna be climbing down a tree and a car is gonna start to fall towards them. Oh, so they move out of the way and it falls past them? No, they try to climb down the tree faster than the car is falling. What? Yeah, I wanted another action scene here, so I had them do that instead of, you know, moving slightly to the side. Oh, easily avoidable action scenes are tight. Oh yeah. So what else happens? Well then some other characters are gonna be in a jeep and barely escape the T-Rex. Oh wow, so T-Rexes were fast? In the movie, we're gonna say that they can run up to 32 miles an hour. Seems like they should be able to easily outrun it in a jeep. Whoops. Whoopsie. Then Alan and the kids are gonna climb a huge fence, even though the kids could pretty easily fit through it. Interesting choice. And later there's gonna be velociraptors trying to get into a room that the characters are in. Oh, are those bad? Real bad. So Alan and Ellie are gonna be trying to keep the door door shut while desperately reaching for a shotgun. And Lex is on the computer trying to activate the locks. What's Tim doing? Oh, he's tapping on his sister's chair and telling her to go faster. Why doesn't he go hand the shotgun to Alan and Ellie? Because he's busy tapping on his sister's chair and telling her to go faster. Now, I guess that is important. And then they're going to be surrounded by a bunch of raptors. Oh, well, that's it, right? Impossible to get out of that situation. Actually, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, the T-Rex is going to show up out of nowhere and fight the raptors. How did the T-Rex show up unnoticed? Well, it's going to be 
feel like a ninja in this scene. Not in earlier scenes? No, in earlier scenes its footsteps caused many earthquakes. Oh, well that's cool. I guess the T-Rex has kind of a character arc. Yeah, he learned how to be a big old sneaky lizard. A big old sneaky lizard. Oh yeah, so what do you think? Well, it seems like a great movie, but sounds like we can only logically make one of these. Yeah, after how bad the whole Jurassic Park concept goes in this movie, there's not much potential for sequels.